National Day of Prayer is presidentially proclaimed to land on May 4th this year. Pastor Eileen Blanche joins me today to get us prepared because there are many events happening in Rochester. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thanks for coming in. Yes. Well, thank you for having me. This I'm is excited an, to be here. Yes. This is an important day. It is. And there's some big events happening in Rochester, including a pretty special breakfast. What more can you tell us? Well, um, the National Day of Prayer, May 4th. Uh, we usually kick off the day with, we used to call it the Mayor's Prayer Breakfast. And then over the years, we've kind of transitioned into the name Pray Rochester. Okay. Because we want to include the entire day. But at 7.30, we will be at the Mayo Civic Center. And we're kicking it off. Um, in 1 Timothy 2, 1, the Bible teaches us that we're to pray first for those who are in government and those who are in authority so that we may lead godly and peaceful lives. Because what they determine, the laws that they pass, affect all of us. So we're called sure. on to pray and ask God to intervene in government. And, and hopefully people will listen to the wisdom of God and we'll have good and godly laws in the land. Which is an interesting mix because we often hear, oh, religion and politics, religion yes. and government. But on this day, we are having that breakfast and you'll see many of our yes. city officials there. That's exactly right. In fact, several of them will actually be praying this year. And we do it because we're to honor those who are in government. And we really do care. You know, we, we care about the people in the city of Rochester and our leadership here. So let's talk about so the, national, the National Day of Prayer. Some questions to get to here. Sure. Let's talk about the history. When did it all begin? Um, 72 years ago. And it was kind of spotty. It started 72 years ago. Uh, where they had the National Day of Prayer and then occasionally they would skip a couple of years and there was actually no official law until in 1988 when Ronald Reagan was governor. Okay. And at that time, Congress did pass a bill along with the Senate initiating the National Day of Prayer to be the second, or excuse me, the first Thursday in May. And from then on, Every first Thursday in May, we celebrate the National Day of Prayer. Okay, and Bob, if we can put that graphic up on, oh, let's talk about this actually, since we have this up. What are we looking at right now? That's in Lake City when I was pastoring Rivers of Living Water. That's one of the first prayer breakfasts, or excuse me, the first National Day of Prayer that I ever hosted. And it was a tiny little town. We only had eight churches, but the beautiful thing is, all of the churches came together. All the pastors came together. And that's one of the things that we accomplish here in Rochester. We start out with a prayer breakfast. At noon, we'll be at the Salvation Army. Then in the evening, we're going to be at Evangel United okay. Methodist Church. And what one of the beautiful things about that is when the whole city comes together to pray. The pastors, the churches, it's a rare actually a very rare moment when yeah. we can actually get everyone together. Yeah. yeah, so a lot going on again. It's May 4th. May 4th. And there's the breakfast. You have to get tickets for the breakfast though, and we do have we the do. link to that on our website. That's ktgc.com. Still some tickets available? Oh yes. Okay, yep. good, good. Pastor yeah. Blanche, thank you so much for being here. You're we welcome. appreciate it. Do you like the Golden Girls at all? Because I love Blanche on the Golden Girls. <laughs> I know, people ask me about that. They are very funny. <laughs> they yes. are, hilarious. Yes, they are. Thanks again for being here. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank you.